So welcome back to the second race of this weekend. I am on to the second round of the Conelanders League. We failed to qualify for the main race, so we are now contesting the Heat of Losers, the B main, where there is a handful of points up uh, for offers. Only seven was qualified, so you're guaranteed a point finish as long as you start. So we've qualified for it because the guys around me learned how to drive the track, while I didn't. So we can see if we grab a podium with this, maybe try some strategy, see how it plays out. We'll see what we can salvage from this weekend. Good luck, have fun and I'm sorry. I hope to see you in the second chicken. Okay. Alright, I remember I taught doing a video this time. For the B feature. That was an alright start. Qualified fourth somehow in a field of seven. Because these guys suddenly learned how to drive. Which is unfortunate for me, but. This is getting tight. I know. Where's Mark? There he is. I'm and that sorry. was clean. Somehow. So, Carl's have I? It. Yeah, let's go get him. Yeah. So have I managed to so make gonna spin, so yeah. like the first three corners of a lap and not lose a position? No, it was me. That was close. Me, yet he's slower than me. That must be frustrating. Get up on me and take the spot. No, go ahead. Just keep going. No, let's get back here. Get some side draft off Mark. I think that's how it works. Bit of a slide. Down that curb. And we're in second. So this will mean for the first time in my life we have a lap one where I've actually gained a position. Not only that, but I gained two. Go buy a lot of tickets. This week is the week. Still able to mess up parabolic though. So we only made up one spot. I'll take that. Now let's get some of that glorious draft. Get back. Yeah, I want to find this drafting that people are talking about. Because it does not. Of course, it would help if you were actually fast. It's a hell of a late breaking. Damn him and his fancy setup. Because before this, we were talking. Hello. We were talking setup, and it turns out Mark is using completely opposite toe settings to nearly everyone else, and it works. Unfortunately, I learned that in the last 30 seconds of practice. So, I didn't risk changing the setup that dramatically. Not like that matters in this car. He dipped into the gravel, which is dead in this car. Are we sliding? He's sliding. I don't want to make a move there. Sorry. That'd be too risky. Alright, so. A little bit of a battle. Try to snake me. This ain't Indy. 
Of course, if you're wondering when this was recorded, Brickyard 400 is currently on. Cohen is sparing us from that. Cohen's work of charity for this week. Come on. Come on, draft. Do your work. Car, meanwhile, has disappeared. We're going to, this week, we're going to use the smart pipe strategy. Which is fill and then splash and go. Only works in the B major. The A feature is too sh too long for that to work. But if you're not doing it in the B feature, I know you're mad or something. What if here and around the paddock? Uh, that's not. That doesn't seem to be what people are going to do. Not everyone, anyway. In the seven. In a seven car field, you know, one person doing something different is half. is a, is a big <laughs> difference. That's like divided opinion. As I spin there? As you do. No oh, half spin. Please, don't, do this. don't just dangle him in front of me. Please don't tell me that's what's going to happen in this race. Because that would be nasty. It was not my entire sim racing career, though. Just having someone dangled in front of you. That cut actually worked. Well, hey. That's the cut I even Sharky uses. Probably for good reason. I, I should probably never do it again. Grass, grass. Damn, because this is such a long straight. What I'm trying to do is try to get all the exit speed. Got too much exit speed that time, went into the grass. Well, damn. Mark was. He was like qualifying alone, he was just three tenths faster than me. So if he's anyway consistent, I won't be able to make that gap. And if I'm anyway inconsistent, I'll be lucky to finish on the podium. Because Les Cubes is catching. He's had my luck at the start for a change. Let's do parabolic right. Try to get a run. So we need to get back into the draft. Three second, three and a half seconds is way too far back for any sort of draft. And I'll see from my experience I'm finding you have to be within half a second of them for it to actually do anything significant. How is he breaking so late? Must be the toll setup. Because my car is simply not stopping in time for any of that. Unless that's somehow faster. Well, the immediate reaction from the relative is, no, oh, that's horrifically slower. Never do it again. Probably should have practiced that. Probably should have practiced in general, but... Like, come on, who the hell practices Monza? Especially with like all the racing on this weekend, it's like, nah, screw that. That could kinda worked. Kinda. You didn't see me take the Maestro line there, NZW. You didn't see me take the Sharky Cut, and we're all cool. Nobody knows nothing. Cheaters. I know of, I don't know nothing. You guys have no idea how much I don't know. <laughs> yeah, because you're four seconds ahead. It's boring up here, guys. 
I know, come back here. Oh, I'm fine. You catch up to me. What do you think I'm doing? <laughs> Have a good race, guys. I'm out. I've spun every single time I see lose my. That is pretty much my heat. There's been a lot of that, man. Don't worry about it. No, but he's gone anyway. I spun so many people in my heat. I feel so bad. Same. I only wanted to spawn one person. Just Monza stuff. But I'll live with the nightmares for weeks. It's a horrible try. Uh, yep. Good luck in Eagle. Alright, well, left way. Oh, left way. Interesting. Hold up, Horizon's in the bit. Shenanigans are going on. He went for the short stop and he's gonna to go to the end. Interesting. Look at that gap. He's still kinda of within a pit stop, I would think. Sharky Cut. I'm just now learning how to drive this track without spinning. Good time. Exactly. I'm not spinning, but I'm just slow. You get off that acid turf. Uh, things will happen if you go on the acid turf. The acid turf, particularly, seems to be quite slippery. If only it was like that in real life. Or maybe it isn't, you know. Drivers who actually drive in this track actually know what they're doing. Maybe real life drivers have skill. Maybe that's how they got it. These are some deep questions. That is not doing the tires any good. Which is not good for us considering we kinda need those things. Nice cubes has disappeared. Nice. And for all this shenaniganery, I believe we slightly gained a mark. Not anything to write home about, but positive signs. And looking at the strategy, he's either going to pit this lap or the next one with me. At least our to pit. Lap 7 is the farthest you can go. Unless you do uh, Alexander Rossi on it. Which kind of doesn't make sense middle of a race. Stop your damn car! Slightly earlier. There goes all that good work anyway. I was doing better laps with uh, automatic than I am now. You just gotta That's get sad. used to it. I'm just glad my skin is broken. <laughs> yeah, I haven't seen your skin yet, Carl. Come show it to me. Oh, no, it's fine. Come on, we all want to have a look. I can send you a picture later. <laughs> I want to see it in the flesh. <laughs> Be main best man. We got the bands. All that stuff. Now it would be very ideal for us if Mark pitted this lap. Because then we should be faster on the pit stop. I don't. Unless he's going. Unless he pits this lap and then goes crazier. Because I've built in. A Approximately a lap uh, of, a, of a sort of a margin on my fuel mileage. It's all built in. 
Could be slightly less, could be slightly more. Well, yeah, I'm not gonna willing to take that much risk for a few seconds. He was quite tight there. He's going in. Is he? Or is it just a line? No, it's just a line. But other news, we're within a second. Excellent. I'm somehow finding pace. Please don't. Ooh, I nailed that. We're pitching this lap anyway, so we don't need to go full bent after the overtake. Well, that presents itself. Because this is going to be very close. It it, this all now depends on how finely me and Mark have cut this. I have a feeling he's going to fill. I think he mentioned that. It's all in the driver's briefing. I was close to him, so probably should look half respectable in that chicane. <laughs> the Nebris is strong tonight. This is the acid turf. Acid turf is. Not quite good. Fortunately, Mark went out as well. Is he trying to snake me? I won't tell him that the draft isn't working back here. Now, with a few numbers this time a week ago, another lap. Same. Oh, good. This would be interesting. This will be interesting. Because we have closed right up with him on this inlap. The inlap of dreams. Wait, where's my pit box? And I hope he's just going to fly it. Carl Guess who messed up the pit? Got a faster stop? Pit config didn't work. Ah, oh. uh oh. <laughs> Results-wise, it's excellent. It means we... I slid through my box twice. That's interesting. Well, you're in luck, Mark. I messed up the first again. Oh, man. We a race after all. <laughs> Carl has gone. Big work for me. Shoot. I just see. Oh wait, team. I Is wasn't it? supposed to tell anybody. Make sure I give back the time. That was pretty harsh, though. He should be four seconds behind. Hopefully, you part well, didn't, Maybe he should be. I put him on the lead. Can I lead see how that worked out for him? Oh, what? Oh, he took the lead. He's ahead of me. Ah. <laughs> I've been ahead of me.
ahead of him the whole race and he decided he passed me when I pitted. Tell me I put two seconds on Mark and saw it looks like that that sector. Maybe he got that astroph again. Everything's inspiring against him now. Unfortunate. He's doing quite well. It's a pretty damn well. I wouldn't get too depressed. I'm always last, so I wish I could be in features like you. Choice of words, Shadowwolf. Choice of words. At least you're consistent. Yeah. Alright, so we are now in second. Tires are doing well. Definitely fueled to the end, I would think. I just found some gravel. An opportunity has arisen. I don't recommend that. Oh, it's not too bad. Damn it. Gravel trap, you have failed me. Could be a sign. He's under pressure. We could get this, yes. Or we could ourselves fall victim to gravel trap. We should probably take that as a bit of a warning. As we do the crazy downshifts, I really need to control my downshifts a bit more. Because they're not agreeing with me in this car. As we saw spectacularly, the heat race. I would be in the A main if I didn't make aims of that. My relative you now is doing his usual funky stuff. So, it won't be till the line till we see how much time we've gained with Carl's mistake. Maestro line should help us in our quest. Or at least it's just a little dot in the distance, so. Two laps. He's gonna have to hit the wall or something. I've already wished enough woe on people this race. So. That's not Cars Carl. Seems to be holding this gap to Mark though. Just proving that without draft here it's quite hard to gain time with people. So apparently Carl has so much pace that he went into gravel and only lost a second. That's not really going into gravel at all then, is it? Damn you, gravel trap. That was... We lost all our acceleration out of that turn anyway. Life is still looking positive. I know I shouldn't be thinking of this, but I'm thinking of this, and I was wondering. Because we, you know, literally finished one place away from making the main race, do we actually. When I, when I see the results, I have to check and see if we actually made it out with more points than if I realistically had been in the main race, because if I was in the main race, uh, well. Yeah, no. That's where the fast guys are. So I probably would have come out with only a handful of points. Not that, you know, this race pays out a whole lot of points. Like, pays out the same as 12th in the main race. So I would. So I'm currently getting the same points for second here that I would if I'd finished 13th in the A main race. Which 
is probably better than I would have gotten if I had entered. So there. Always a silver lining. Everything's looking up. For a championship I have no hope in. <laughs> Hopefully it'll do good for good old Team Europe. And the unofficial Team's Championships. And there's the white flag, as expected. Oh. Uh oh. Might do. Lift and coast, lift and coast. This has made things interesting. Never. You may have found a use for that super stupid long uh, overdrive gear. Now is the time for six gear. Alright, so we can be taking it easy. So I need to nail a lap. Wait, what the hell are you talking about? I don't know. Can one of you guys push me across the line? If I cross it first, I will. Sure. Why is it showing me one white flag with two laps to go? Because I crossed the line from my last lap. Well, that's not good. That'd be bad. <laughs> yeah, but you haven't lapped me, have you? I don't know. It shows up anyway. It shows up when I cross the line. Confusion with the flags? That never happens in the set of Corsa. What was that daunting? He's getting a lot of vibrations. So he's taking those curbs. So that doesn't sound like fuel saving to me. Yeah, but well he's probably just going to throw it in six gear at the back straight. Yay! I mean, yay! <laughs> you don't want to win one, one like that. No. I take it. <laughs> Sarka quieted him down. Ah. That's a joke. So, Carl, once again, shown to be faster than us. I don't think he was around uh, last season. He's sort of making a mark for himself amongst the heat losers. He's got his losers whipped. Yeah, good race. Not over yet. Pity about that pit stop for Mac. We could have had a good race. And half donut for a set of course that throws us out. And thus we get our first podium in the Cone Landers League. I think anyway, it's our first second place, definitely. Definitely our best result, even if it was for a B main race where only six people finished. I'll take my victories, thank you. Yeah, interesting race. Uh, I had a feeling we would have got the strategy on Mark anyway. We were suddenly finding pace in him as well, and we put, did pull away after the pit stop. But it was unfortunate that his uh, pit stop didn't go smoothly, so he didn't get a proper race. Because I messed up the chicane, so, and that would have definitely given him the place back. And we would have had a lovely dramatic race to the flag. Instead, Monza denied us again. Who knows?